Plato, Dr. Seuss, Abraham Lincoln, Albert Einstein. What do they all have in common? Hi, I'm Allie Bierman, and I'm so glad you came by. Today you can find me over at your relationship intelligence.com. Today's video is brought to you by Audible. You can get a free trial, a free download, and a 30 day free trial over at www.audible.com forward slash Allie B. That's www.audible.com slash capital A L I capital B with over 180,000 titles to choose from there's something for everybody for you to play on your iPhone your Android your Kindle or your mp3 player so what do those four brilliant personalities have in common they were all metaphysicians. They all taught when you read their material, you will see clearly how they're sharing with you the fact that you create your reality. Now what I'm going to do is give you four different quotes, one from each of them. And if you follow the link below this video, you'll know which quote goes to which author. Ready? Okay, number one. You're on your own. You know what you know. And you are the only one who gets to decide where you go. Alright, number two. Reality is but an illusion. Albeit a persistent one three coming at you. People are about as happy as they think themselves to be. And number four. How can you prove whether at this moment we're sleeping and all our thoughts are a dream or whether we're awake and talking one another in a waking stage. How your world looks, the people in it, the opportunities in it are the ones you choose to see because you have infinite possibilities around you in each moment, but you're only going to see what you're filtering for what you're allowing yourself to see. So powerful is the illusion that we create of our world. That I remember once being in a B&B &B and it had changed hands. There were never telephones in the room and there most definitely were never TVs in the room. So I was in the room and I was walking around this thing as I was doing the different things I was doing in the room. And then all of a sudden, the person with me turned on the TV. What I'd been walking around and completely have failed to see was there was a TV in the room. You only see what you expect to see, what you accept to see. And you can only make your choices from the reality you allow yourself to believe in. Now, if you've ever done any kind of personal growth, personal development work, if you run any kind of business, you've heard this metaphor before. There are a group of prisoners, and they're all chained to one another around the neck. And they're forced to stare in a certain direction. Now, what they're seeing is shadows. And the shadows, what they're seeing are being manipulated by, well, let's call them puppeteers who are out of sight. Well, one of those prisoners finds a way to break free. And he 
leaves the chained area, finds a passage, goes out, goes up the passage into the light. Now at first he's blinded by the light because he'd been in a darkness for so long. But then, you know, he can see, oh my gosh, this is the reality. This is how the world really looks. And he got all excited and he went back down inside and told all the other prisoners all about it. And he said, come follow me. And nobody believed him. It wasn't part of the reality. And no one would follow him. They chose to stay in their bondage because it was what they knew. Now, what would you come away with from that story? Go down below and let us know. And be sure that you take a look to match each quote to each brilliant mind. Anna Mellie Bierman, I'm over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.